Listen, we're in Abu Dhabi and uh, man, I, I'm in the presence of a legend right now. Whether it is your last one or not, I think in all of the MMA fans' hearts, it'll always be Tony time, brother. And, and listen, man, I, I, I'm not talking to Tony Ferguson, the fighter, right now. I'm talking to Tony Ferguson, the human being, the man, the guy that's standing in front of me, and I just want to know how you're doing, man. How are you doing, brother? Well, I thought it was going to go a lot further. Um, time difference is kind of crazy. And then right before we walked out, I kept on feeling like I was throwing up, kind of like just a little bit bad. A lot of nerves, man, going into this shit. I got eight, and, you know, and I got 12 and eight now, so it's fucking crazy. Not very happy with my performance. Uh, obviously, I could have did a little bit more rest and warming up today. But um, the fuck are you going to say, man? You know, good job, Mike. And listen, bro, the response. Like, the response all week, even not from a journalistic perspective, but just from a, an MMA fan's perspective. When you got on stage at the weigh-ins yesterday, everybody was going nuts for you. I saw in the media room, everybody was coming up to you saying hi. That's got to mean a lot, right? Yeah, absolutely, it means a lot. It's crazy how much fans have followed me for a long time. Um, man, they don't know how to quit like me. So no, 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 no. It's f how that goes, but I'm very honored to be able to have that. Like I said, we're in Abu Dhabi. I'm glad I came across the world to be able to experience something new. 170 pounds is okay. Mike ended up being a bigger dude. Um, weight cut wasn't such a bad thing, but like I said, rehydration was a little bit different for me. Uh, no excuses, man. Should have been a lot better, especially fighting hands going on the bottom. Uh, he was quick with the with the hips and throwing them in, and I thought it was almost out. So, fuck, man. What are you gonna do? Can I also tell you that I do take a lot of motivation from you because when I see you out there putting in the miles, when I see you training, when I see you putting out those those videos on Instagram, it, it makes me want to get up and, and do some things on my day, brother. It really does. Hey, humility's a mother. It's a part of my language with that one, but I mean, there's only so many miles you can run and then not tell everybody. So I'm glad you guys find that inspiring. Keep it up and uh, keep your stick on the ice and don't let your meat loaf. What, uh, up to this point, do, do you have a moment that sticks out in your career? Do you have one of your favorite moments? Yeah, when I went home from the Ultimate Fighter on my third one, when I went home and nobody knew that I was going to go for the finals, my coach ended up telling me, he looked at me and he had my bru I had a bruised eye and I was kind of limping a little bit. He looked at me and he's like, you made it, huh? And I couldn't tell anybody, but that was like one of the best moments because I knew that something special was going to happen. Out of all this stuff, this has paved the way for me to be able to go and do whatever the fuck I want to do. And um, I'm very honored to be able to represent the UFC to the top of my abilities. And, um, you know, I say I'm not ready, I'm not done yet, man, but... Uh, I don't know what to say. Should have went out there, should have got that dub, obviously, but uh, I'm an athlete. I don't know anything else to do besides go out there and play. And listen, this is your home. This will always be your home. What has the UFC meant to you? Uh, UFC's awesome, man. I'm the CSO. That's the chief security officer, so without me, shit wouldn't have happened. So uh, I love this company. I love everything that it stands for, and uh, I'm always here for that company the same way they are for me. I know it. And it's always, like you said earlier this week, it's always going to be McNugget Monday, and it's always going to be Tiramisu <laughs> Tuesday, right? It's always going to be McNugget Monday, and it's always going to be Tiramisu Tuesday. So uh, one day, Khabib and I will play some chess, and we'll do something, and me and Connor, I don't know what the that'll happen but uh at the end of the day you know what i mean we're all gentlemen so i hope that every single one of you guys remember that all you ladies out there remember to be good women and uh men be good men so uh we'll see you guys soon el kukui tony ferguson it would be an honor if i could maybe come and get some miles in with you one day but for now i'll shake your hand and say i'm a, I'm a huge fan and i appreciate you my brother send that full guys love you